Hello class, this is section 3.2 and in this video we are going to discuss a simple example of using Fourier's theorem. And this is a typical question that you might get asked. To sketch the graph of the Fourier series for the following function on minus 3 to 3, this time with a function that is x squared from minus 3 to 1 and then equals to x plus 3 from 1 to 3. So let's first gra graph the function itself. It's not too difficult to graph. We start from minus 3 and we end at 3, and the 1 is also important. So we have an x squared function. So we start at 9 over here, um, and it's a square function right until we hit the point 1. Um, this should be smoother than that, sorry. So it becomes an x equals x squared function until we hit 1 over here. I'm really bad at graphing. Let's try again. No, that's good enough. Right. And then at 1, it hits the point x plus 3. So at 1 becomes 4. Let's say 4 is here. And then it becomes a linear equation after that. And it terminates at 6. So it looks like something like this. Right, and this is what our graph of fx looks like. It's x squared from minus 3 to 1, and it's one x plus 3 from 1 to 3. And now we have to write down the Fourier extension. So let's draw that graph. And let's scale it a bit differently. So minus 3, 3. And we have the same function. Let's draw it the first time. Then with the little dip. Right, since we are looking at a periodic extension, we need to mark down 9 here, and then uh, 15 here, and then a minus 9 here, and a minus 15 over there. And we just repeat the same pattern over and over again. Uh, here, another one here so on, and also, of course, on the other side. I'm really bad at drawing, but you get the point. All right, um, all of these different segments should look exactly the same. Uh, sorry if my terrible sketching makes it look otherwise. So that's pretty easy, and the hard part is always going to be at the jump discontinuities. Now, please observe that we don't just have jump discontinuities at 3, 9, 15, and so on. There are also these jump discontinuities over here. One, um, it's going to be seven, it's going to be 13, it's going to be um, minus five, minus seven, and so on. Right, we need to figure out exactly where the jump discontinuities are. Now, visually, we can just write down here, it's halfway point and a halfway point here, 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 and so on. So the jump discontinuities basically meet the left and right side halfway. And sometimes you may be asked a question. This is an additional question. What is the value of f hat 7? And they're asking you exactly what at what point is the function take is the periodic extension taking when we're at the jump discontinuity? So, the first thing you have to do here is notice that f hat seven is equal, of course, to f hat one since everything is periodic here. And based on Fourier's theorem, we need to figure out that what the left limit is and the right limit is at one. So, according to our original function, we need to figure out that this is equal to the limit of fx from x goes to 1 from the left plus the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of fx, all this divided by 2. So let's figure out what, what that should be. The limit of fx going from the left, and here is obviously going to be x squared, so that's going to be the limit of x squared going from the left plus the limit of x going from the right and from the right, it's just a linear function, x plus 3. 
So this is going to be limit of x plus 3 over 2 again. This first limit, the limit of uh, x going to 1 for x squared is just going to be 1. And here, the limit from x plus 3 going from the right is just going to be 4 divided by 2. And the answer is, of course, 2.5. So this point over here is just going to be at the 2.5 level. And you can figure out what the values of all the other jump discontinuities are, too, by a similar method.